So continuation. So yes, what I like I was saying, you come on YouTube and you look at you watch the different videos of the women with their natural hair, which you know I did natural for a long time, and the different styles they achieve, different the twist outs, the braid outs, the the buns, the flat twists, intricate, you know, whatever. And that takes work. And that takes time. And I don't have a lot of time. I mean, nowadays everyone doesn't have time. But really, I don't have enough time. I've got two boys. One is five and one is one and a half. I am married. I have a full-time job, which is not... You know, eight to five, and at the end of five o'clock, you're done. It's eight to five, and there's other things that I need to do. I actually have work I'm supposed to be doing right now, but I haven't done it yet. It'll get done tonight before I go to bed. Hmm. So I needed something that would cut down on my frustration and then make styling easier, and also help so that you know I can keep some predictability in my hair. And it come out looking nice, and you know I could wear it to work. And right now, um, I and I love to wear my hair out. I do not like wearing. Um, you know, I don't want to wear corn rolls. I don't want to wear braids. I don't want to be wearing buns all the time. I like wearing my hair out. And maybe the yes, that might stop my growth, but who cares? Can I wear my hair out, please? And so. <laughs> I just kept looking for that style and that the results that would allow me to wear my hair out and it not look like a cotton ball blew up on my head. And that's what it looked like. And I don't mean to down certain products, but you know, that kinky curly uh, stuff, that don't work on my hair. Um, I have read the directions. I have gone online. I have looked at other YouTube people with that stuff. And when I had natural hair with 4C, you know, I'd apply that stuff and it just was like no. It was a no-go. It was a fail. And it just looked like the cotton ball, but it wasn't so shrunken. The cotton ball was a little bit bigger with some coils on the end. And then it took forever to dry. So, and I, you know, and I tried, I think I made at least three or four attempts to get it to do what it said it was going to do, which was basically, I wanted it to, to look like this, but it did. So, and I've done Eco Styler on my hair, but in order to get it to do this, I have got to add like a fourth, maybe even more of the container to get it to do this. And I can't just plop it on. You know, there's, there's a process to it. And, you know, I've watched people who have, with my type of hair, and they sit there and they coil each one. I don't have time for that. That takes too daggone long to do. <laughs> I just can't do it. And then the other thing that was frustrating is, you know, you do braid outs. You do twist outs. My problem is when it came to nighttime routine, that whole pineapple thing, that never worked for me. Never worked. It would come out at, in the morning. It would just look like, you know, it just didn't work. And so every night I would be having to re-braid my hair. Now, mind you, it would maybe like four or five braids, but every night I got to re-braid my hair. I didn't want to do that either. So right now, I think I might end up work, work, um rocking these doing some wash and goes and doing more of the curly girl method and see if I can get my hair to grow without doing protective styling which seems obscene right <laughs> since that's the go-to method to get your hair to grow but we'll see but I really like my results um, I hope you found these videos helpful and for all you four seers out there who uh, get frustrated and you know want another option um, and want to see what tex texture softener does on their hair after being in their hair for a total of 17 minutes and air dried with basically nothing in it this is what it looks like so this is it
I hope you enjoyed these three videos. Um, if you got any questions or comments, now mind you, all y'all natural sisters, I know what y'all gonna say. Why didn't you do that to your hair and blah 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 and da 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 da? Well, you know what? It's my hair. And so I've been natural for 12 years. Um, and I decided to make a change. I think I can make a change. And you know what? Hair is hair. If I don't like it, I'll just go back to being natural. It's not a big deal. And you know, we shouldn't we shouldn't you know put each other down. Just because somebody's hair is, is relaxed and someone's hair is natural and someone's hair is tech flex. We're all black women. Um, you know, we, we're all different and we all have different needs and different wants. And sometimes natural is, is the option. Sometimes it's not at that at that specific time in your life. Um, and at this moment, I just felt like I needed a change. And, this is my change and I may end up going back to being natural so um, yeah so please do not write any negative comments about natural and do not and you know what do not you know be negative on other people's channels when they decide to make a change and quite a few times I've seen where people have done texturizers or done relax and they go back to being natural for whatever reason but you know we're all God's people and uh, God don't like people being ugly to each other he likes us to love each other and support each other um, and that's what we should do because that's what he would do for, do to us just you know so anyways that's my spiel about that anyways you ever have a have a wonderful day and I thank you for listening to me rant and raise and go on and on but I just felt like I needed to make this video. Yeah, thank you. Bye.